If you're growing plants in a nursery, you may be handling pots that weigh hundreds of pounds. Awkward, heavy, but necessary. Now students at the UT Herbert College of Agriculture have a design to help, a robotic system that can maneuver these things, a senior project they completed prior to graduation. And we completely designed a gripping mechanism that'll close in around a pot, that'll grip on the pot and then lift it up out of the ground. Smart sensing, smart analysis, and smart control. Robotics, sensors, and wireless networks are part of the Smart Agriculture Laboratory, operated by UTIA Biosystems Engineering and Soil Science. For students, it's an educational opportunity to improve farming. And that's the great thing is we're seeing a huge push for agriculture. We're finding that there's less and less farmers, but we still have a growing population. So we need to find ways, smart ag ways, of continuing to produce the amount of food that we need for our country and for the world. The lab includes research on precision agriculture and crop yields, as well as real-time health monitoring of poultry and livestock herds across the state. Cameras, microphones, and computers are connected across Tennessee, linking the Smart Ag Lab with real animals. At this broiler operation, researchers watch chickens as they eat, drink, and grow. And a similar deal with beef cattle at the UT Ag Research Center in Spring Hill, where researchers track weight gain and feed consumption to maintain herd health. Uh, one of the projects we are right, right now doing is to uh, monitor their breathing, uh, their respiration rate, and hoping to, by tracking each animal over time, we can see if they have any illness. Hal Gann is the professor who oversees the Smart Ag Lab, where a number of unique projects are underway. This farm model was designed by a student matching the goal of the lab to find new ways of increasing agricultural efficiency. And then I can point to the Smart Farm model to say, hey, here we get this system going on. Here we can develop this system. So our lab right now, we are basically developing AI solutions to challenges in agriculture. It's been said engineers build things to solve problems. In this busy lab, ag issues are addressed. Research and education coming together to produce clever ideas and solid results. This is Charles Denny reporting.